Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Justin Brock here, the Medicare guru, not the handwriting guru. And today I wanna to talk to you about a Medicare savings account. What this is, is it available to you? After I'm through here explaining it, uh, what I would ask that you do if you wanna know if this is available to you or uh, which plans to stay away from if you don't want this, you can head over to bobbybrockinsurance.com. We have tons of other information there, a lot of my videos there, uh, even some videos that aren't on YouTube, uh, but and, and articles. So you can request information there, or as always, you can call us at 662-844-3300. Head over to bobbybrockinsurance.com if you need the toll-free number. Without further ado, an MSA or Medicare Savings Account. Um, typically, an MSA or Medicare Savings Account is a type of Medicare Advantage plan, also known as a Medicare Replacement Plan, uh, if you get on a Medicare Savings Account plan or an MSA, you are not on Original Medicare anymore. However, one of the benefits to this type of Medicare Advantage plan is that there is a uh, there there is a, a, a law that if if a doctor or hospital accepts Original Medicare, they have to take or they will take your Medicare Savings Account. Which whereas other Medicare Advantage plans, they can refuse to be in the network and refuse to take them. So. Medicare Savings Account, the, uh, the plans that are out there, uh, there's, a, there's a few of them in different areas and there's one that's really big, but I'm gonna not name the actual names of these companies that do it because they probably don't want me doing that. So right now I'm just gonna talk about the generic terms of how one would work. So I'm gonna give you an example of a Medicare Savings Account. If you had this plan, uh, some of the pros are they're typically zero premium, okay? So it wouldn't cost anything on the, on the plan. You would still have to have your Medicare Part B premium, which is, you know, for, for most people right now, about $144 a month in 2020. Um, and then you would need still a standalone Part D drug plan because the MSA plan, unlike several Medicare Advantage plans, does not have a uh, Part D or a drug coverage benefit built into it. So you would have that separately. These are gonna range from around $13.20 to $80, depending on which plan you get and you know, what your drugs are. So um, that's kind of the, the makeup of what you had. So why this is better uh, is in, than, than anything else, or what are the pros of it over certain other plans? Well, if you're in a rural area where there aren't a lot of Medicare Advantage plan op options, or you dislike network limitations, um, you might have and the only other option be, and it's a supplement, you know, and maybe it's costing you 200 a month plus the 144 plus the drug plan, okay? So for some people, this 200 is hard to afford. Another reason you might want this is because some people that are really healthy for a long time may come out better with the zero premium plan uh, back to this way because they would be able to accrue an amount in this savings account, okay? Now, how does that work? How does that happen? Well, if you were just enrolling in one, and this is a generic, uh, a generic concept for one, uh, let's say you enrolled in a TNT Insurance Company, and they had an MSA that was zero premium, and it uh, gave you a $3,250 deposit into a savings account, the MSA, and then they promised that if you were out of pocket a total of $7,400, they would come in and pay 100%. They'd pay 100% after the $7,400, okay? So your total out of pocket for that first year is oh no math uh, uh, da, 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 da. four thousand three hundred fifty no four thousand one hundred fifty I'm not sure why I did that <laughs> seventy four hundred minus thirty two fifty would be um, one fifty four thousand one hundred fifty I'm sorry that was a brain malfunction so. If your total out of pocket the first year is 4,150, then you know worst case scenario you're out to 4,150. The next year 
your, you get another deposit of 3250 on January 1st, and it starts all over again. You have $7,400, and your total out-of-pocket again is 4150 Well, what if in that year, that first year, you were out $250, you had your one visit, and you had $3,000 left over. Write it bigger down here. $3,000 left over. And you, you, didn't, you weren't out any more money. In the next year, your maximum out of pocket, your $7,400 would start all over, but you'd still have $3,000 rolling over, plus they'd give you another $3,250, and you'd have $6,250. So then your total out of pocket is 1,150, but your premium is still zero, okay? Well, then if it happens again, you spend another 250 on doctor's visits, then you have 6,000 rolling over. Now you have a savings account of $9,250. $9,250, but your total out of pocket is still 7,400. So now you have a zero out of pocket potential and you're free. So it's kind of a gamble, kind of a bet, you know, that uh, some people are making. You know, you got your, your yoga, yoga instructor, health conscious people that don't believe in prescription drugs, a lot of that. Uh, this is appealing to them. It's appealing to, uh, you know, people that are just very, very budget conscious and think that they can make it through a few years and build up a savings account. And it's appealing to people that can't get this supplement. Maybe they waited too long and they're in an area where they really need the coverage now. Um, and they don't ask health questions to get it. So there are some, uh, some reasons that someone would get it. Now, who's not eligible for this MSA or Medicare savings account? If you're receiving veterans benefits, uh, it's very difficult to get into. Most of them, if you, are, um, if you have a low income subsidy or Medicaid, you can't get this, okay? Uh, I'm not sure why you would want to at that point, but uh, that, would be two of the ones. I'm sure there's some other ones I'm forgetting. You're not really supposed to be uh, living outside the country more than you're in the country. Um, things like that. So it is a good option though. So if you have any questions about this, again, head over to bobbybrockinsurance.com. We have a tab on Medicare savings account to talk about it. So, and you can request information over there or you can call us and our numbers over there, bobbybrockinsurance.com. Check it out in the description. I appreciate you watching. Have a great morning, afternoon, or evening.